What's up everybody, it's Sunny Brothers back at it with another video and today it's more of a special video. For my whole life I've been fluent in three languages and I'm actually currently learning Spanish. I've been learning Spanish for about four years and I've always liked the sound and the way Portuguese people, no, Brazilians speak the Portuguese language. My aunt actually used to live in Brazil and she knows how to speak Brazil, uh, Brazilian Portuguese. Um, I wanted to give myself a challenge to try and learn as much as possible in the most little amount of time. Every single day, starting from day one to day seven or eight, I don't know, but from this Saturday to next Saturday, I am going to be showing you guys my progress every single day, saying some stuff maybe, and then just on the final day, tell you guys what I learned, the process, and if it works. So, as you can see on my phone, I have the Duolingo app opened up and you have these all these different types of levels and you can go all the way down until you can speak about politics in the Brazilian Portuguese. As you can see, I already started. I started today and I'm just going through the basics and each day I'm going to show you guys my progress and kind of what I've learned. Officially been 24 hours since I started this Duolingo program to try and learn Portuguese and this is my progress. As you guys can see if I tap here, I'm at level 3 out of 5 on the first basics. I'm level 1 here and I'm level 0 here. Um, it's quite easy to waste your energy because you need energy to pass the levels but so far I've just been learning well, for example, I'm a boy, I'm a girl, I'm a woman, I'm a guy, I'm eating this, uh, you're eating this, and stuff like this. And I, know, I know a lot more than what I knew 24 hours ago, which is good, and I see an improvement, uh, and hopefully the next day goes just as well. So it's been about 48 hours since I downloaded the app. I've made significant progress. Keep in mind, I'm only practicing like 15 to 20 minutes a day. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, I'm not sure. And I'll show you guys my progress. So after two days, I'm here at level four to five, basics one, basics two. I started phrases, but it's a little bit hard. Still not haven't tried this one out. Seems really hard. So yeah, it's my progress. I'll catch you guys in 24 hours when I'll have com when I'll have completed my third day of trying to learn a new language. What is up, guys? It is <clears throat> it's officially been three days since I started the challenge. It is a beautiful day today in Rome. It's been a huge progress since day one, and I want to show you guys how I've been doing. As you can see on the screen here, I completed basics one. I'm up to here, basics two phrases and phrases too I've unlocked and yeah that's my part like that it's very similar to Spanish uh, but I'll update you guys in 24 hours when I will have complete when I will have completed my fourth day of learning what is up guys so yesterday I didn't give you guys an update I was busy doing other things so I moved forward and today I'm giving you guys an update it's about 5 30 it's the end of the fifth day out of seven of learning Portuguese with Duolingo and I have to say it's getting a little frustrating. It's supposed to be this app that helps you learn a new language, any language in the world, and it helps you learn it eventually uh, at its, to be fluent in it. But what people don't understand is that if you don't pay them on a monthly basis, then you have a certain amount of energy per day to actually try and do the exercise in as exercises and if you do it wrong then you lose energy and once you have no energy you can't do any more exercises. Obviously I want to keep doing these exercises, I want to learn Portuguese as fast as I can but if one energy bar run use every six hours that means I wake up every day with two energy bars and that means if I make two mistakes in any other exercises with any spelling any of that then I'm done. And don't get me wrong, I think it's a great idea for someone who just wants to start out with a new language like me. I think it's a good it's a good app. It's better than anything else you can find. It's harder to read with books. I think it's easier for especially young people to learn with phones. So I'm gonna continue doing this until day seven, see how it goes. So today marks the last day of trying to learn a new language. 
um, on Duolingo, which was Brazilian Portuguese. I'm gonna show you guys my progress, but first I wanna say a couple things. For me, learning a language wasn't always something that I considered hard. I'm not trying to brag, but I grew up, again, with international parents. I learned languages, I know languages, and for me, it wasn't very hard to pick up languages like Spanish and stuff like that. But with this week, I realized that learning a new language is much harder than I thought. I mean, especially throughout these seven days, I realized that Portuguese was similar to Italian, French, and Spanish in the several ways but it's still a completely different language. So after one week, this was my progress. I finished basics one, I got to level four of basics two, and I just started the phrases. I learned a lot of new things, of course. From the beginning of this trip to now, I really learned a lot of things, but I feel like one week is obviously not enough. You can learn the very, very basics, some basics, not even the whole basics. But to really learn a language, I think it takes time. It takes more than an app by itself. So even though it's a good app, it's a good way to start. I think you need to learn a language in other ways like books. Anyway, guys, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Peace.